Good morning and welcome to Galactic Soul Healing. Uh, my name is Sonia. Today is Friday the 28th of April 2023. <laughs> um, I've got some new different decks from what we've the last reading. Um, today we've got the uh, call it Baron Reed, the animal spirit Oh, Spirit Animal Oracle, which I really love. And we also have Beyond Lemuria by Izzy Ivy. There's great, some great images in there as well. And we also have, I don't know that I've used this uh, deck yet on, on the channel. Uh, we have the Lemurian Star Child Oracle by uh, Leanne Takey Anawa and Mikia, Mikiel or Michael Kroon. Those guys are in America. And beautiful images in that deck, um, as you will see. Um, so, these are the decks, and I'm going to shuffle and chat, okay, because it kind of saves a bit of time. Um, this is the Star Child, the backs of the Star Child, Lemurian Star Child Oracle. I'll explain in a minute while I've ch why I've chosen these decks. Uh, this is the Spirit Animal Oracle, and we have the, the backs of the. Um, Beyond Lemuria. So, um, I'm just going to start with the Spirit Animal Oracle shuffling. Um, so, the reason that I've done doing this reading is it's been inspired by meditation. Um, last couple of days, I've felt the um, there's like divine feminine energies kind of wanting to speak through, um, and I think it's. You know, as you know, as you, when you, when you start sort of tuning into um, other energies that are coming in, um, often they kind of repeat over time. You know, it might be fairly regularly they're coming at different different periods of the year. Um, so a few weeks back, I was doing a meditation and um, just lying on the floor, just doing total relaxation meditation. Kind of felt um, sort of surrounded by beautiful. Um, uh, divine feminine ascended masters um, and yeah some high frequency energies there and uh, then there was this um, it was like a a giant rose was descending I was doing a breath it sort of felt a little bit like an initiation type of thing or it was just um, an opening or just for me to kind of perceive this type of energy but the giant rose kind of came down and it was sort of on basically sitting on my torso and I kind of took it into my being and was breathing and um, yeah so there were I can't remember the exact words I might have done some journal, some journaling on it um, but because there were female energies it it felt very hood and then I sort of had this feeling of like was this like a sisterhood it felt like a sisterhood and I was like is a sisterhood of the rose is that a thing <laughs> anyway <laughs> um, I went online and it's a thing and um, apparently um, it's quite ancient so it's um, and I, I do believe I, I actually believe personally that, that the sisterhood of the rose energies were um, communicating to me or um, or I was picking up on their resonance or something energetically was going on with that um, so basically they've come back the last couple of days and I was just doing some journaling this morning and what was coming through was this beautiful uh, message that they wanted to they want to send out a real message of comfort like they want to comfort everyone um, and the, one of their little helpful tips on ways to feel comfort within yourself is to kind of um, start doing some journaling around your inner child because the inner child is um, that innocent part of us it's unconditionally loving okay it's almost you could almost say it's that it's a divine part of us okay now they also want to further qualify this by saying that if your childhood was characterized by um, unpleasant things going on um, 
they're also just encouraging you to go a little deeper and just try and discover or reacquaint yourself with what those things, the activities or places that you went to that 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 were your go-to things that you did or places you went that helped you to recharge and recover from any challenges or difficulties that you were facing as a child. And they're suggesting to go back into, um, you know, the ages of four, five or six years of age. You know, there may be standout things for you, positives and negatives, okay. Um, but they're saying just to kind of hold space for yourselves lovingly if the ch extremely challenging things come up for you. Just sort of breathe through that, um, acknowledge it, acknowledge the strength of your being, acknowledge that you did actually choose to have that experience and that um, there could be a whole lot of processing that you might want to do around that, but they're trying to just encourage you to look into um, more so identifying the joys and the things that made you happy or made you feel happier um, that you want to because your soul actually has a really strong message for you because it's more or less saying that the things that you went to for recharging and regeneration were um, and to feel better okay were important they're important for you personally okay um, and uh, they also want to just reiterate that um, the times we're moving into might feel scary and unfamiliar but they just like to put this metaphor out there of just as a young child takes the hand of their parent and there's an unconditional loving and trust okay as they step out into the wild unknown the big wide world not knowing what to expect and the little child is in awe and wonder of what's around okay and what's going on and how that impacts and the different feelings that arise in him or her okay um, they're saying that's going to be very similar for us in these coming times is that we almost have to approach this with a A, with with awe and wonder okay but that we really need to start establishing for ourselves an inner core of love but also they want us to understand that the higher frequency benevolent beings are there for us to tap into and almost metaphorically they're saying yes take our hand metaphorically um, or energetically resonate with us or meditate learn to calm the mind tune in so you can sense that we are here with you okay and that will help you also to tap into your own inner strength because that's what they're here for they're here to help us to step into our own um, sense of um, strength and um, resilience and that we've got this and we also have deep wisdom and inner knowing okay um, they're not here for us they don't want to create in us a reliance upon them. They're just saying that we are here to comfort and support you as you make this transition. Okay, it's, it's a little bit like a child growing up, you know. The role of a parent is to be there and assist to develop, help to develop the child so that at some point they can, they've done their job and they can just step back, step back. Okay, and that's, you know... This is kind of what it's going to be like for us. Um, they're kind of really saying, you know, we're here to really support you as loving, like a loving parent. Okay. Right, I finished shuffling. I've been talking a lot. Um, right, so let's pop this down. We'll cut the decks as per normal. Um, right. Apologise if that was a bit of a long preamble, but... Um, yeah, I literally just finished doing my journal writing on that and I'm just like, you know what, I just have to share that. Um, and we forgot to say a prayer, didn't we? <sighs> thank you, Spirit, for helping us with this. Um, and, yeah, thank you for the downloads and the insights and thank you for supporting us at these times. And we really, 
grateful for any help that we can get um, but also we really appreciate you helping to empower us and to help us to step into our energy our stronger energy bodies as well so the first card for animal spirit oracle we have is seahorse spirit um, watch and wait isn't that interesting watch and wait that's suggesting patience okay and also calm and just observing so you know once again we can draw the analogy of a young child they're watching everything okay and they're not in a not in a rush although if they're really excited about something you know they're in a rush but if we can just sort of start to tap into our innocence our childlike and just kind of really come back into just being in the moment you know um, being present uh, as well I'm just going to really flick to my journal here because um, uh, yeah right and can you believe this I did this is literally straight off the top of the deck uh, um, I understand now why the um, the sisterhood of the rose um, and I believe Mother Mary specifically um, was guiding me to use this deck inner child attunement sorry I've just got chills right now thank you spirit this is just really great go within listen loving parenting <laughs> What we're just talking about <laughs> loving parenting isn't isn't that gorgeous oh my god um this is about attunement here so that's about using your intuition and your knowing about as a looking at just really doing some journaling on your inner child um and if it brings up emotions for you just allow it okay but also acknowledge the amazingness and the resilience of your being to have gone through all of that okay and to come out the other side and just um, really just tap into your I've just realized there's a small face here why didn't I see that before look it's mother and child um, and that could easily be father and child but you know like and this is something else too about the nurturing aspect of the divine feminine I'm starting to understand now the big picture okay part of the divine feminine is for us to accept the nurturing not only can we be nurturing but we can also accept nurturing which is being receptive okay which is the divine feminine um, wow surrender this is the beyond, beyond Lemuria deck surrender so it's surrendering to the higher frequencies um, surrendering to your innocence but coupling that with or marrying it with metaphorically your inner wisdom your mature self your higher self okay your spiritual self you know um, and also surrendering to that nurturing as well these cards are awesome today oh, I understand why I was I was actually literally guided to use these specific decks like oh, I'm really grateful with this at the moment let's go back to the animal spirit I really love these images they're so beautiful and soft as well turtle spirit um, I can't even read that backwards sorry I just have to turn the card slow and steady wins the race okay this is kind of emphasizing our watch and wait seahorse spirit it's about slowing down okay slow and steady and it's literally about you know if it's it's Friday here so if you're almost up to your weekend wherever you are it's like programming some time for just super slow some super slow time okay and just literally do stuff like go out look at the dirt and watch the ants like a child or something to that effect that's an example okay I'm not saying to do that but or you know or even go out with your own kids and dig for worms or just look at all the different leaf shapes you know just really slow down and I get that you know as parents we do have to have coffee you know we need coffee um, but I've started to do this thing which is really 
um, unusual and that is I have no coffee in the morning I'll do something else like I'll meditate and then I have my coffee you know a bit later and I find that it does coffee does tend to make you more agitated it makes you quick 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 whereas if you don't have coffee it, you can kind of go a little slower okay with things purity oh my god isn't this gorgeous and we were just talking as well about the innocence and purity of the unconditional lovingness of a child that a child has for the parent okay you are pure open spiritual eyes that is what we are we are purity in our essence oh my god is that a unicorn yeah it is too that's so gorgeous this is so beautiful thank you spirit I can't believe this is just um, oh here we have alignment oh well beyond the myriad alignment this is some um, chalk was here uh, and also oh wow look we have two little dolphins and you know what I just wanted to point out to you before at the start of this video is up here I have this little dolphin image okay because dolphins are very playful okay like a childlike type of um, frequency if you will um, and also this picture here of, of a flower is kind of like reminiscent of that rose or that real loving kind of that beautiful pink energy vibration so that's why I had those images up there and here we have ditto matching um, and these are the chakras here so our root at the base of your spine sacral um, back behind underneath the belly button uh, towards the spine solar plexus uh, yep then it's heart heart here throat brow and crown and this is alignment and remember I was mentioning um, the work of Dr. Sue Morta uh, last video um, and that's all about getting the uh, chakras humming and getting that energy flow getting your alignment from great central sun here to Gaia underneath us we are um, I did some journaling yesterday the other day as well we literally are actually plugged into source and we are plugged into Gaia so we can feel really secure in that okay um, if you want to get more of a sense of that go out and stand on the earth really do some breath awareness place your awareness on the earth into the earth then come back up with your breath and you know and the same with the heavens um, and the great central sun but um, this is really gorgeous okay let's do one more of each um, <sighs> love myself a beautiful pretty spider look at that make your dreams we're real and you know that thing about awe and wonder it's really a beautiful thing to dream and something else I really wanted to encourage that I was writing about today was um, and this can be a self-nurturing tool for you is the thing about dreams is in your journal if any you've had if you ever have any standout dreams like overnight or when you wake up in the morning like wow that was a really vivid awesome dream um, do a quick meditation on it before you do too much else in the day and um, just see if you can do a bit of writing on it or some images just grab your colored pencils or some textures or whatever and just quickly you know do some stuff or go slow and you know spend an hour or so whatever you want to do and make a whole artwork and do some writing or text around it um, because sometimes writing out our dreams literally can be really supportive as well um, but we're literally moving we are going to be able to you know create the life of our dreams really it's going to be so awesome last card for today from the Lemurian star child oracle we have stepping stones isn't that beautiful and I'm just going to read what's under there sorry and then I will put the picture back up take the next step let go of the old paradigm wow so the old paradigm was you know probably rushing around like a mad thing um, push 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 now we are needing to even more and more have uh, slow down time start to have gaps in the day where you can just 
even if you can just you know have a quick lie down would be awesome if you can't lie down just go find a park I mean you could even lie under a tree or just even just you know sit in your car just put some beautiful relaxation music on um, I mean the new paradigm is literally um, yeah just being getting yourselves more like in alignment ourselves I should say because it's an ongoing thing we're all doing this in an ongoing fashion um, yeah the alignment here the new paradigm means that we're going to be moving into better alignment mind body breath don't forget the body don't forget the breath okay we've always been on about the mind but we can remember uh, oh wow crown chakra <gasps> The unlimited self okay so this is what we're stepping into ultimately it's not like we're going to be bang in that overnight because we're all at different stages and different levels and even within each chakra there are layers and layers within each chakra energy okay so um, it's an evolutionary process that we're going into but with this unlimited I want to talk about this a little bit because the unlimited for us um, is relatively unfamiliar for most of us and hence can be scary but this was something else I journaled on here and it was saying that um, just because something may feel uh, unfamiliar um, the message of comfort is that um, it's not the unfamiliar in this case it's not going to be something to fear but rather something that we need to learn to trust and step into knowing that we do have high frequency energy support okay and that within our own beings our own energy core essence our deep wisdom we have kind of done this before and we just need to remember so it will become less unfamiliar as it goes on if that makes sense because aspects of our DNA will start coming on board and we will start to go Oh, thank God, finally. And we will start to get some relief. That's my little take on that. Um, but initially, if it seems a little scary, is that we need to really just think of ourselves in that little metaphor of like as if, a ch as if we are children taking the hands of um, even our own higher self. So if you can imagine you're a composite being, okay, made up of your inner child, your personality currently you have higher self um, so just imagine that you are your inner child self taking the hand of your higher self that your higher soul self that is literally going to be helping you to step into this so you can literally there is a thing called reparenting oneself so it's literally like realigning oneself or reacquainting yourself with your higher self with that higher aspect dimensionally speaking so basically all aspects of yourself will be come into alignment and this thing about surrender is about surrendering that little line here it's going directly into the heart solar plexus area so it's about the unconditional loving and, and empowering aspects of ourselves that we are needing to surrender to in order to step into the new paradigm um, which was in the stepping stones actually yes so all these cards beautifully tie in I really love how we've got this is see how this is very much a body card that looks very embodied isn't it we're going to be embodying um, this beautiful uh, the crown chakra it's going to be awesome folks um, and I really love this about the new paradigm stepping stones and that's so true but I really love how the um, the message coming through mainly for today was this message of comfort that we can even comfort ourselves if we know the um, the our own multi-dimensional dynamics if I can say that about our higher self our inner child and our personality okay and how they all interact Thank you so much, Spirit, for all of those messages and thank you for listening and um, I look forward to our next video. 
I think the previous one was actually yesterday, taking advantage of this opportunity. I've got lots of nice peace and quiet around me at the moment. So I'm just getting into some videos. I'll get back into it again next week and a um, few days time. So I will see you then. And in the meantime, have a great weekend and um, enjoy. Thank you. Bye.